What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and actually it's been quite a while since I've done like one of these daily vlog things, one of these day in the life, one of these training videos. It's like, it has felt like ages even though it's only been like two weeks or something like that. But I swear to God, I promise you guys this thing, I am gonna stay on top of my content, I'm gonna stay on top of all of my videos. I've just wrapped up a huge back session, aka deadlift day, aka deadlift night, aka pull from the floor day. I have just wrapped up a huge session. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So basically I am starting this video a little bit different. I'm going to kick this off with obviously my workout. So I do hope you enjoyed that little bit there. I'm going to get on to obviously the rest of the day's food. I've actually just wrapped up this session tonight. So basically this video is going to go in reverse order. I'm going to start off this video with my session and then basically all the food that I've ate earlier on today, this morning, this afternoon, leading up to the session tonight, I'm going to include basically after this, I'm also going to run through a few questions that I've been asked on Instagram. I did put up a Q&A basically just to see if anybody had any questions that I would literally run through in this video. I'm going to do that. I don't know if you can hear that, but the wind is absolutely crazy and it's pretty scary, but I'm just kind of, I'm just going to, I'm just going to roll with it. So we are going to go with that. As I said, I do hope you did enjoy that workout. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I'll go through the majority of the stuff that I've ate today. I do think I've recorded everything. I hope I've recorded everything. I will literally, I will record everything from later on tonight as well. So I'll still include that. I'll answer the questions. I'll do everything I can. This is probably going to be quite a random vlog. Day of eating, training, absolutely everything. But I promise you guys, I'm going to try and get as much content as possible. Everything's been crazy busy. But I'm just making up excuses now. I'm going to go with it. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. If you do enjoy it, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Because we're still growing, even though there's not been that many videos, we're still growing. So subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll catch up with you guys soon. Twelve seconds later. Protein blend. My again, as I mentioned earlier, any of the supplements. guys so just before i wrap this video up i've got a few questions that i'm going to run through that basically i stuck up on my instagram i put a quick q a up to see if you guys had any questions that basically you want me to answer obviously on video and not throughout my instagram like i do my q a's like most days but i just thought i would stick it up see if you guys had any questions i had quite a few responses so i will crack through i don't know four or five questions before i end this video because i don't want it to be too long because i know that you will just get bored and probably not watch it so i'm going to jump on the first question here and it is your opinion on other steroid users well to be quite honest like i'm like one of the kind of people that really doesn't give a fuck about anybody else and i know that maybe sounds quite harsh and selfish and everything else that you probably want to call it but at the end of the day it's the truth it's one of the cases that i always believe is to make the most progression like from the things that you're doing is to stop focusing basically on other people so to be quite honest like other people using steroids other people using peds drugs whatever it is juice i mean it's nothing to do with me at the end of the day it's their own business they can do what they want to do it's nothing on me it's not going to affect my training it's not going to affect my eating it's not going to affect what i'm looking to achieve so at the end of the day i do not give one single fuck they can do whatever they want to do i've got nothing against it that's one of the biggest things before anybody jumps to a conclusion i have not a single thing against it and everybody knows that throughout obviously my instagram if you don't follow me on instagram then i will probably shoot over there and do that right now we are on the road to ten thousand followers which i still have not hit because instagram keeps stealing followers from me but i will stick the link to my instagram in the description below so make sure you shoot over there and hit that big massive fat 
follow button. On to the next question, just going back there actually, I have not got anything against it, so just before anybody jumps at that, everybody now knows I have nothing against it, it's nothing to do with me. People can do what they want to do and that is really it. So on to the next question, have you had any significant injuries? If not, how have you prevented them? Well, I've not had any huge significant injuries. Throughout my lifting career, obviously, touch wood that it doesn't happen. Things like shoulder niggles and that, which, again, hasn't been, like, huge. And I've not trained, like, I've still kept my training up and everything like that. I've still, I've, I've trained whenever there's been niggles there. It's not even to make me sound like some sort of hardcore trainer that trains through injuries and things like that. Like, it's one of the, the, the biggest things that I get asked always is, you know, how to train through injuries and things like that. And it's a case of you don't train through an injury, you train around an injury. So there's always going to be things that you're still going to be able to do regardless of where the injury, you know, may be on what body part is injured. There's always going to be things to do. So the main thing is just train around the injury and not through it. So don't do things that's going to cause even more pain because at the end of the day, you're just going to set yourself back even more. You still want to look for progression, but at the end of the day, you still want to be able to keep active, keep training and obviously train around it. So no, I've not had any significant injuries throughout my training career. How have you prevented them? It's not as it's a case of not preventing them. Obviously I've been lucky and I've not had any injuries, but at the same time I've had quite a few niggles which I've literally just trained around and you know by a few weeks time they've been they've they've gone. So the answer to that is no I've not had any injuries throughout my lifting career. So next question what are your short term 12 months and long term five years goals? See, to be very honest, like right now off my head, I'm terrible. I cannot actually think of anything like long term goals would obviously be British title. That's like one of the biggest things that I've been wanting for the full time that I've been doing bodybuilding. So I've had three competitive seasons. I've done obviously my qualifier, I've won my qualifier. I've then came runner up in Britain. Three other times I've been lucky enough to get invites out to the world. Two of the times I've went, I've took the world title, which is obviously a big thing. But at the end of the day, at the same time, I would love to get a British title. Long term goals, I can put as the British title. Even bigger than that, long term goals, I, I could even say Olympia stage. You know what I mean? That's the biggest end goal that there will ever be. Progress all my lifts and things like that. But short term goals as well. Short term goals is really just to progress in the gym, to be quite honest. I don't have any specific, you know, one thing that I'm looking to achieve. It's definitely just to progress in the gym, progress all my big moves, which is the main thing, squat, bench, deadlifts, single PRs, double PRs, triple PRs, absolutely everything. So short term would be to just progress in the gym, progress absolutely everything, you know, become bigger, become fitter. But long term, I'm definitely going to have to put down as the Olympia. Five years, five years isn't long, but at the end of the day, five years, you know, nobody knows what's around the corner. So at the end of the day, five years, who knows what could happen? How would you program a leg workout and what sets and reps would you include? Well, there's so many answers to this because there's no specific right way to, you know, program a leg workout. Like some people like to include the big moves at the end. Some people like to include them at the start. Some people like to pre-exhaust, then hit the big moves. Personally, for me, I would go straight in at the big moves. So if you're going to do something like a barbell squat, a barbell RDL, you know what I mean? Things like a big, like a hack squat or something like that, include all of them first. Me, myself, I would always include a barbell squat first. Whenever I train legs, always the first thing that I do is barbell squat. If I cannot get on the barbell squat first, then, you know, I'll warm up. Obviously, I would warm up anyway before a barbell squat. But if I had to pre-exhaust, I would maybe stick in something like a, a seated leg curl or a lying leg curl just to get a little bit of blood in the hamstrings, obviously get them warmed up. Same with the quads, you know, you could jump in and do a little bit of quads. But sets and reps wise, personally for me, I would always, within squats, I would work up to... A single, do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, remember, this is what works for me. So I obviously don't know how you train and what your training is like, like beforehand. So I would need to know more things like that to then be able to say like what specific sets and reps would be ideal, you know, for you. Like this is how I would train. I would always work up to like a single or a double or some sort of top end set. And then I would back off maybe one to two back off sets is really it. But for most other exercises, so say even going into isolation exercises, I would do things like two all-out working sets, maybe the last set being a drop set or a rest pause set or something like that. So the volume is always going to be there, but at the end of the day, the intensity is like, it's still going to be there. So there's going to be a lot of reps, but at the same time, it's going to be intense. It's not just going to be move, you know, just keep going because I'm I'm strong enough to keep going. You know what I mean? I'm wanting to, I'm wanting to get the max contractions possible. I'm wanting to, you know, put absolutely everything into it. So at the same time, 
The bigger moves, yeah, work up to singles, keep the volume low. Even back off, say it's gonna still be lower volume. Sometimes it's lower volume, sometimes it's high volume, depends. Like, I like to know that my body's able to be able to compete in both, you know, sides of volume, so both high and low. But leg sessions, start off with your compounds, finish on your isolation, so even go from your squats, go to leg press, hack squat, things like that. RDL, stiff leg dead. Even with dumbbells, then move into leg extensions, leg curls, split squats, lunges, and then same again, keep them to two all-out working sets. If you can put absolutely everything into two all-out working sets, that's enough. You don't need to bullshit. You don't need to run about and do your, your four sets of 15 reps or four sets of 10 or three sets of 10, whatever. If you can put absolutely everything into two working sets, three working sets max, if you can put absolutely everything into that, then that is all you need. Start on your compounds, finish in your isolations, barbell squats, barbell RDL, just do something with a barbell to begin. That is like the main thing. That is really what I'm saying. Make sure your body's warmed up, hit a barbell move and then move the fuck on. Two working sets max, that is all you need. I've just realised how long this video is. Already at nine minutes and I don't even know how I've been rambling on for nine minutes, but we're just going to go with it. I'm going to wrap this video up here, guys, because I do feel as if once I edit this, it's still going to be, I don't know, pretty long. So I'm definitely going to wrap this up here, but I do hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Obviously, it is the first video back in, I don't know, a week or two weeks or something. I was used to putting up two videos, but things just got ahead and a case of we're at like one video a week but it's going to go back to two it's maybe even going to go to three i don't even know i'm just going to like get as much content out as possible i do hope you guys have enjoyed this if you have enjoyed it then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you guys in the next video